you know, these, these really good surfers that have risen out there, you know, Kelly, Joel, Andy, Aki, um, Mick, you know, these guys are able to like be in the moment and concentrate on that one turn. I think it's the fourth event this year and it really kind of determines at that point who's going to be in the running for a world title. Yeah, I'd come close to winning it uh, J-Bay before and then in 2007 it was, I won it and it was, uh, it was an enormous feeling for sure. It's, uh, it's J-Bay and you know you come into that channel down there and you're getting cheered up by your mates so it's it's an amazing feeling, you know, to, to conquer uh, everyone and, you know, such a perfect right-hand point break. I remember someone saying, like, you've got to be, like, slow in the mind, fast on your board kind of thing. When you come up against those top informed guys, you you got to surf beyond yourself to, you know, get past them. For me, it was uh, to win J-Bay is one of those things that you always remember, you know. It, especially when it's perfect and the waves are pumping you know you've done a good job when you've won that event because everyone's ripping. Yeah, j is definitely an, an important event. I mean, it sits halfway through the year pretty much, so generally by that stage of the year, the world title contenders have kind of put their hands up and, um, you know, to do well there really kind of holds you in good stead to win the title. It offers everyone an opportunity to, um, to win the heat and it's awesome when you see two guys just at their best just going at it in perfect waves and when it's consistent that happens a lot so it's a sick wave, it's sick for the spectators and it's sick for us. 